using bind argument. <coughs> Yeah, that was this dot handle click. Yeah. This binding is necessary to make this map on that. The, a scroll on there is some explanation in the bill. Yeah, he, he can yeah. do this. He have to yeah. You have to be careful about the meaning of this in JSX callback in JavaScript slash method. I'm not bound by that forgot. Go to bound with the handle click and the pass it to click. This will be undefined. Okay. This is not the right specific behavior, it's part yeah. This is actually a JavaScript ES6. Yeah, yeah. if you the method is all this after it's such as one click here. Yeah. You should find that method. If calling by an address, you there are two ways to get around this if you are using experimental public class. Okay, here yeah, this is a class field syntax, I think. And one more is arrow function syntax is there. Yeah. Okay, so shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah. You can use that in React applications in more things than what you have seen so far. One example is to monitor the status of a value and when the day you have some this value. And render the yarn condition based on this value. There are several different ways to accomplish this and according to the source one method. My, my component has a visibility property, which is initialized. Yeah. Then, uh, the method, then one B. First, <laughs> If you can mute, thanks. Uh, the render method returns one view if the value of visibility is true. And a different view if it is false. Okay, now it's false. So if we change it to true, then we want to see something different. Is something like that? Yes. Currently, there is a no, there is no way of updating the visibility property in the component state. The value is this method, like toggle visibility method. You have yeah. to take that one, and yeah, take the toggle visibility method. Okay, just let's see this one, then I go. In the component state, the value should toggle back and forth between the true and false. There is a click handler on the button which triggers a class method called the visibility method. Yes. 
Defined is measured so that the probability told the method is called. If it is false, the method says is not true, and vice versa. Finally, can come back to bind that is keyword to the method. So, okay. So there you need to bind the toggle visibility. In the below yeah. comments, you need to write that toggle visibility method. First write that function, then bind it in yeah. the yeah, in here bind this this dot this dot toggle visibility. Uh, remove the parentheses. This one. Yeah, yeah. is equal to this dot token visibility dot bind and then pass that this bind this this keyword pass this in the bind yeah i think it's okay you can still write uh, yeah this yeah. semicolon there. Oh. This no, that's it. Just okay. Yeah, and define the, the function toggle visibility in the code, change code below in the, the second comment. Above render. <coughs> above render. Change the code above this line. Again. No, 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 no. above no. render. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, that toggle visibility method. Yeah, and curly brace. Yeah, and then in here, yeah. set the state. The set state. This. The you remember how set state is? Yeah, and open parentheses and open an object inside. Object. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, in here. You will say visibility. Uh -huh. True. Colon, colon, bang this exclamation mark. Not this oh. dot state. Dot visibility. Yeah, that's it. If you now click, you will see something, and then you will see something. If you click now, you see when you click, click it. Click again. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Now this, the render we can put it in a, a ternary operator because this is like if else. If you want, you can change it to ternary, and it's really neat. I think we are fine with this. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's understand what's happening here. So, is it that's it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that's it? But just understand the concept. Here. Yeah. So we use this toggle thing, like yeah. on and off. Here, ah, uh, toggle means we are. If it is true, we are setting it into false. If it is false, it will set into true. Like switching a bulb. Yeah. Like on yeah. off. On off on. We are taking the value from that state. This dot state that visibility and yeah. we are inverting it. So if it is true, we are making it into false. Yeah. Okay, this part is just only binding. Yeah. Yeah, you you can you can check change the visibility to true, you will see that initially it it will show. If you say yeah. true, it will show. 
it will display oh, yeah. now now if you click now it will be false yeah reverse yeah, yeah. okay then uh here okay this where the magic happened here so this one makes true really yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Whenever it is clicked, it will reverse toggle. It will toggle it. Yeah. Whenever it's called, because in the button there is on click that lists the toggle visibility. Oh yeah. Method. Oh, yeah. This part. Yeah. Now I get to watch whatever I want on the TV. When it's true, when it's true, this thing will happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. The good so far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Okay, guys. Now I have to stop. If somebody can take the screen share, is that okay? Eloy, are you still here? How many? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. Sorry, guys. I was going with uh, my charger. It, um, it was. Yeah. Can you check back, the curriculum? So Short it out. Can you check the curriculum? How much we left to it? React. I have to catch up with the recordings, but. Yeah. No, it's simple counter and. Oh. <laughs> So like it needs like three days or so. Three, yeah. Three or a this. bit more. Huh? And it depends on the concept as well. So if somebody can continue from write a simple counter, then I can follow you with the records. Yeah. Continue. DK, are you still with us? I'm guessing not. I could share my screen, but yeah go ahead Elio. i'm gonna need a lot of help because i missed those other lessons so uh, those are very simple if you want you can complete them i haven't even done this toggle one okay but i'll move to the next one just for the sake of the video just go to that set state challenge and come we can come from them i think it may take some 10 to 15 minutes I think, to complete those things. Yeah, I think that that's a good thing because you have to know. Render state in the user interface. Render state in the user interface. I should start from that one. Or set yeah. state with yeah, yeah. that state. Set yeah. state. Yeah, render state and the user interface. Yeah. Okay. Let me click on that one. And then I'll share my screen. I'm using a different computer that I'm not used to using. Okay. But I'll try to figure it out. All right. So once you define a component's initial state, you can display any part of it in the UI that is rendered. If a component is stateful, it will always have access to the data in state in its render method. You can access the data with this dot state. If you want to access a state value within the return of the render, 
method, you have to enclose the value of the curly braces. State is one of the most powerful features of components in React. It allows you to track important data in your app and render a UI in response to changes in this data. If your data changes, your UI will change. React uses what is called a virtual DOM to keep track of changes behind the scenes. When state data updates, it triggers a re-render of the components using that data, including child components that received the data as a prop. React updates the actual DOM, but only where necessary. This means you don't have to worry about changing the DOM. You simply declare what the UI should look like. Note that if you make a component stateful, no other components are aware of its state. Its state is completely encapsulated or local to that component unless you pass state data to a child component as props. This notion of encapsulated state is very important because it allows you to write certain logic, then have that logic contained and isolated in one place in your code. In the code editor, my component is already stateful. Define an h1 tag in the components render method, which renders the value of name from the component state. All right. Note the h1 should only render the value from state and nothing else. In JSX, any code you write with curly braces will be treated as JavaScript. So to access the value from state, just enclose the reference in curly braces. Okay. So, uh, this is the comment. This is the syntax to comment in our React JSX. Right. Yeah, they they covered that uh, okay. very early on. Um, just write h1 and I mean, render h1. that state there. Yeah. And then then render that uh, state value there. Um, so I'll just say render. No, no, no. Just uh, we already have the render in the. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to do the my component. No, no, no. We are just accessing the state. So how we access? Use the curly braces to access. Uh, curly okay. braces. And then, then state. This dot. This dot. This dot state. Dot name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the way to access state values. Okay. But then the curly braces. Yeah. And here he covered a lot of virtual DOM in the state. Have you understand that what is exactly virtual DOM? Um, yeah, it's just kind of like what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. It's called it, under the hood. You just update the particular part only. Instead of reloading the, in normal DOM, it will reloads the entire page. But virtual DOM just update yeah. the parts which change. Yeah, the, the single component, which in this case yeah. is uh, this name for free code camp. Yeah. And the rest of the DOM is untouched, just the text within the H1 Unchanged. Is, yeah. Is, yeah. is changed. It's dynamic. Okay, I think I get that. That's probably the closest I've come to understanding uh, what state is. Okay. Render state in the user interface any another way. This is another way to access state in a component. In the render method, before the return statement, you can write JavaScript directly. For example, you could declare functions, access data from state or props. 
perform computations on this data and so on, then you can assign any data to variables which you have access to in the return statement. In the my component render method, define a const called name and set it equal to the name value in the component state. Name. Okay. Okay. Define const. Yeah, define a constant name. name. So equals the name value in the component state equals this dot state equals name yeah now write that one and use that variable okay okay so just same thing except we don't have to do this dot state we just do the variable name inside the curly braces. Okay, so let's do make it H1. You open the H1 and close it. H1. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I was doing. Good, good catch. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, yeah, yeah. and here that's a lot simpler because I'm sure if you needed to reuse that. If you, write any if you want to write any JavaScript, if you want to write any JavaScript, we should write above that return statement within that render above that return statement, and we can use them in return. The yeah. inside return is JSX completely. Mm -hmm. If you want to write JavaScript, we should write above that return within that render. Inside return is complete JSX. We are mixing HTML and JavaScript here, so it's a JSX. Yeah. And yeah, I track, I track comment that, Yeah, just comment that to constant name and we'll do it in the one more way. Well, it's you know what this this structuring in ES6? This structuring in ES6. Um, How yeah, comment that it's uh yeah, comment that comment that call constant name. It's kind of like reverse yeah. defining. Yeah, yes. And in the next line, constant. In the curly braces, write name, curly braces, open, curly braces, name equals after that curly brace, come up, yeah, equals this dot state. No, just remove the curly brace, write it as simply this dot. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is the same thing. Yeah, this dot state. state only state dot. Uh, I don't have to do name yeah, that's it it's understood uh, I don't know what this is uh, can it go away a... can this thing go away I've got to... okay there we go okay. all right okay we use this syntax the restructuring syntax mostly in our React. This is e ES6 feature, object uh, restructuring. Uh, so it gets rid of repetitiveness. Yeah. Like if it's repeating itself, like obviously name and name are repeating themselves. So this format yeah. is just like, instead of it's writing this, this dot, this this dot name. End. Uh, yeah, I always wondered what this meant. I've been, I've been shadowing uh, it means a senior developer and name equal to this dot state dot name. Yeah, I've been shadowing the developers that. and um, I, I've been trying to figure out all this stuff. Okay, this is in ES6. I think we, when we move on to that ES6 in the JavaScript section, you will understand what this. this yeah, is. I really needed to get Here to ES6 like. I need to do more ESX again. I've learned some ESX, but it was just like basic ESX. It's a, 
just like constant name equal to this dot state dot name. We are yeah. saying in this. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pass this so we can go to the next one. All right. The previous challenge covered component state and how to initialize state in the constructor. There's also a way to change the component state. React provides a method for updating component state called set state. You call the set state method within your component class like so. This dot set state passing in an object with key value pairs. The keys are your state properties and the values are the updated state data. For instance, if we were storing a username in state and wanted to update it, it would look like this. This dot state set state username Lewis. React expects you to never modify state directly. Instead, always use this dot set state when state changes occur. Also, you should note that React may batch multiple set state updates in order to improve performance. What this means is that state updates through the set state method can be asynchronous. This is an alternative syntax for the set state method which provides a way around this problem. This is rarely needed, but it's good to keep it in mind. Please consult the React documentation for further information. Okay. There's a button element in the code editor which has an on-click handler. This handler is triggered when the button receives a click event in the browser and runs the handle click method defined on my component. Within the handle click method, update and update the component state using this dot state, set the name property in state to equal the string react rocks. Okay. So and Basically, how we and watch the state, state update. Don't worry if you don't fully understand how the quick handler code works at this point. It's covered in oncoming. Okay. All right. So I need to update the state value here. Yeah. Before going on that, generally, how we update the variable values? Suppose I have some let where name equal to some levies. I want to change that levies into something else. How we do that? We just simply reassign something, right? Name equals some. Yeah, so state. Like that. Does it need to be in curly braces? Yeah. You need to use the no. this dot state state. Because okay, this this dot state set state set state set state. Yeah, set you can see that in the state. example. Also. It is a method. Mm -hmm. It takes an object. You That's pass that object. No, no, no. Inside that. Inside that parentheses, you should pass that state object. Object means curly braces. Uh, okay. Yeah. Inside, you wrote it right in the report. Open R. Inside the parentheses, open R. Now, you can see it in the example like this. Scroll up. Uh, yeah, here you can see that blue. Okay. Code. So, they need a username. But... Yeah. This dot set state yeah, is a method. Uh, Inside that, we should write name, some object. Name. Name. Yeah. React rocks. And then. Yeah. It's an object, so don't put semicolon at the end. Okay. And now, click that button. Click me. Okay. On your left. Click me. React rocks. Let's see what's going on there, and if you have some doubt, yeah. just we'll discuss. So it's bound by the handle click. Yeah, we will discuss about that in the next challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Ignore that time line. <laughs> the just... object. The object is bound by that. Yeah. 
we will discuss in the talk. We are binding the this to the handle method here. It's a button on click. Yeah, we have and on then click. It should handle this dot handle click, which is this. No, we have this in the below handle click method is there. You no? wrote that set state. Yeah. Yeah, but the button is here. Yeah, button is, calling is this one. Click. Yeah, you have handle click method it's below. It's bound to this, which in the line nine. This is also set in, in the state yeah. of this. Forget about that line seven. We will discuss that in the next challenge. Come to the line line nine. Yeah, but I think I, I think I follow what's going on. Ah, it will okay. explain in the next challenge. It's because that of the bind object. Con that bind concept explained in the next challenge. Okay. Just come to come to that line nine. Yeah, but I think I think I understand. Line number going. nine. You have that handle click method in the line number nine. Go to the line number nine. Yeah, that's the method. Yeah, we are calling that method on click. Yeah. And I understand. Inside that, okay. Inside that method, we have set state. Means we are modifying our initial state. Yeah. I understand. Generally, if you want to update some variable value, we simply reassign it. Right. And then we've called Some this dot state dot name. So whenever this dot state dot name uh, has this yeah. method called to change it, then whatever was there will be gone because it'll be replaced by this. It's updating the state like they talked about. Yeah. Uh, this See, what we are doing in this, this dot state, right? We are ah. changing the initial state into React rocks. This is what the power of React is. Updating right? the initial state to React class in the state. So here the H1 tag will render updated. Data. Okay. We'll see you, Jamal. Thanks for stopping by, man. Um, he's probably. <laughs> I imagine he's got those kids running around. Okay. Man. I, yeah, I've been there, man. Don't worry, Jamal. Uh, it's hard when I'm, I'm trying to code with my kids. That's why I code at night and in the morning. It's hard. You don't have yeah, kids, yeah. do you, Shrikant, or do you? Yeah, yeah, I know. You have three kids. Like... Yeah. Do, you have family, though, right? Yeah, I haven't married it. Oh, okay, okay. Bachelor. Um, that's good though. You can focus on your programming. Yeah, right? I'm staying away from our family. It is almost 150 kilometers away to my hometown. Okay. I'm what, staying with my friends in They're, they're from Telangana? Yeah. They're from I, I, I'm in Hyderabad, Telangana, but my hometown is Orangal, which is 150 kilometers away from Hyderabad. Oh, I know this place. Okay. I think I told you this before, yeah. One of my, practically one of my wife's uncles, he's from there. Okay. Uh, he's a Dugarala. Okay, Dugarala. And then another guy I know, his uh, name is... Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember. It's um, Ravi Ankama. Okay, so you know Orangalai. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know a few Orangal Ong people. Yeah, so I'm basically from Orangal, but staying in Hyderabad to get some job here. Oh, Orangal. Orangal is different yeah. from Ongol, right? Yeah, Ongol is different. Ongol. Okay. Ongol is in, yeah, okay. is in Andhra Pradesh. Right? I know of Orangal. Right? I don't know. Yeah, Warangal is in Telangana. It's a different place though. Yeah. Okay. In Hyderabad, uh, IT industry is very much established here in Hyderabad. What was that in Hyderabad? IT industry. Tech companies are. Oh, right, right, right. Mostly in Hyderabad only. Yeah, there's like a tech city there, yeah. right? Yeah. In High the tech town. city. High tech, High tech city. city. Yeah. Okay, let, you want to stop here for today? Uh, 
Was this where everybody else was? How much further am I from everybody else? Yeah, actually, Mesfin completed two more challenges. If you want, you can go ahead and we will do two, two three more challenges. Yeah, I'd like to so get we'll, caught up. I think I'm starting to understand it. Yeah, so you can catch up with him tomorrow. DK, are you still here with us? I think he muted his mic. Yeah, maybe he got occupied. Yeah, you just go ahead and we'll do. Okay. Two, two, I think I'm starting time. to get state there. I think that's yeah. good. The state is completely internal to that particular component only. The other components yeah. are doesn't aware about the state and all those things. It's like. And the props is comes from render, from rendering. So we pass the prop yeah. values from rendering. Use the object and the properties of the yeah. object to yeah. update your state. Yes, we use this dot set state method to update yeah. the updating state. your state. We can't directly is just like laser focus. Uh, just can't... like laser focus to that one thing. Yeah. No, nothing else has changed. Yeah. Just just straight to that one thing. Yes. I think when I think of it in that way, it, it makes more sense to me. State is simply an object. Yeah. But it's like a very it's an micro scoped, like yeah, dynamic. Very like it's pin, like a dynamic. Pinpoint, it's pinpointed. Like it's not a yeah. It's not a very big object. It's just like that one yeah. that one yeah. location yeah. over there. It's a, it's but the everything logic, else, everything or, else is pristine and like untouched. Okay. Yes. All when right. state changes the you will re-render that particular component yeah yeah if there's anything that's there then it will be uh changed to what you've uh what you've put in your return re your render return yeah that will be re-rendered right and just observe that method set state why we are using set state here we are avoiding directly reassigning the state value in object we can do that is using this dot state dot item count equal to okay. something we can do that directly in yeah, normal so, object if you want so to we can increment the counter yeah in no 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 just listen in normally in objects we want to update that item count we do in this way this dot state dot item count equal to 10 something like that but here we are using separate method this dot set state so we are avoiding direct change we are using some method to update that state value right so the remember that of yeah point, but, so it's in this method yeah we are updating and then that method. it's in the jsx here yeah yeah we are accessing that state uh -huh. here in return yeah and every time this and, method is incrementing it by one yeah. and it started at zero and here you need okay. to do that binding in the first comment and then the second one we need to add that on right. click event handler to that button on the click so, yeah we're gonna add that here uh, on click and we need to bind that method just yeah this uh, go ahead uh, okay. go ahead and read that and we will okay in addition to setting and updating state you can also define methods for your component class a class method typically needs to use the this keyword so it can access properties on the class such as state and props inside the scope of the method there are a few ways to allow your class methods to access this one common way is to explicitly bind this in the constructors so this becomes bound to the class methods when the component is initialized. You may have noticed the last challenge used this.handle equals this.handle click dot bind this for its handle click method in the constructor. Then when you call a function like this.setState within your class method, this refers 
to the class and will not be undefined. Note that this keyword is one of the most confusing aspects of JavaScript, but it plays an important role in React. Although its behavior here is totally normal, these lessons aren't the place for an in-depth review of this. So please refer to other lessons if the above is confusing. All right, so we basically just need to have a this dot handle click. Yeah. And then equals this dot handle click. I think we should go with the add item. We have method add item in place of handle click. Here in the line 11, you can see add item method is there. We should use bind that method. And we can use that method in our okay. handle on click. Add item. No, no, just remove that handle click. Handle click was just explained in the example. But handle click, method. we should be, we should not say handle click, we should say. And add item. Add item. Because yeah. that's the method that we want to. Yeah. Call add item um, that bind this and yes. that's it. And in the bottom we here, need to... we need an on click. Uh, on click. On click. And equals. Then I need to tell it what to do. No, no, not the course. Here we are right JSX, so use curly braces. Okay, that's right. So this dot then, uh, this call that state. our method. Oh no no, our method what is our this method here? That add item. Yeah. Inside that add item we are setting the state. Okay. No, just go ahead and click on that. I don't need click. to do that. No, 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 no need to mention that process. Okay. I broke it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So now if I click the button, yeah, just check it will increment. And then if I click it again, it will increment to two. And then to three. Every time you click, it's update the state value, item yeah. form. It it executes this. Yeah, and it updates the item count. So I, when item count changes, it will render it that say this h1. It updates that h1. Yeah, it started out as zero. Now it's yeah. four. Even it won't touch that current item count. That text also. It only update that value. Just that four or five number only. It won't touch that uh, the static text, the current item count in the virtual DOM. Just updates that number only. Okay. I I will show that in the later in. Create React app. We have some tools is there. We can see what is updating on the console. When state changes, what's yeah. updating? We can see those things on the. Did you understand why we are binding here and? Here inside our add we item. We need to bind the the method here, to yeah. the object. Uh, binding to that class. We are binding to that our class. We have my component is a class. Yeah. Here. What we are doing is that we have method add item. We are calling it on on click, right? Inside that add item, we have this. We are using this dot state, right? The yeah. to to maintain the context of this inside that add item with that class, we are binding. So it will refer to that that class. This otherwise, that this will be undefined inside that add item. Yeah. If, you, if you won't bind the this inside that add item will be undefined so we can't access yeah. that this dot state dot item count yeah this is drilled down from yeah. this state item count yeah so that this here that this refer to our class if you bind it and you can read that part in i shared that documentation link in the chat we'll okay quick, quickly see that and we'll come can back can you put that one in discord because i don't think i got that one Okay. And I lost my power in my other computer. Okay. I'll put it on this part. We'll quickly see it and move on to the next. Yeah. I can look at that one later. Uh, no problem. 
I'll just place it there. I'll I'll read that one and review it later. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Use state to okay. toggle an element. You can use state in React applications in more complex ways than what you've seen so far. One example is to monitor the status of a value, then render the UI conditionally based on this value. There are several different ways to accomplish this, and the code editor shows one method. My component has a visibility property which is initialized to false. The render method returns one view if the value of visibility is true and a different view if it's false. Currently, there is no way of updating the visibility property in the components tab, a component state. The value should toggle back and forth between two, between true and false. There's a click handler on the button, which triggers a class method called toggle visibility. Define this method so the state of visibility toggles to the opposite value when the method is called. If visibility is false, the method sets it to true and vice versa. Finally, click the button to see the conditional rendering of the component based on its state. Hint, don't forget to bind the this keyword to the method in the constructor. Okay. So before going to the code, just change that visibility to true in the state once. We have false, right? Just set it to true. Yeah. And now. So you see it the, uh, because of uh, change it back. It's changing. Code. Okay, so, so defaults to false. Uh, what we are going to do here is we just need to update the visibility using set state. For that, we need to bind, write that event handler method, toggle visibility method, and we need to bind it in the constructor. There, we need to bind, and in the below one, we have to write that toggle visibility method. So, first, complete that toggle visibility method, then we will bind it in the constructor. Okay. Yeah. So, toggle should be here. Yeah. We should write some method there, and inside that method, we should update the state. No, no, no. So how we write a function in normal? After the parenthesis, we will open curly braces, right? Yeah. Move this uh, one to that. Yeah. Yeah. After then curly braces. Uh, uh, this is the method. Here, we need to update the state. How we update the state? This, that's. Yeah. State? Set state. Set, set state. state. Set state. And then Inside the, no, no. Yeah. Set state is a method again. Open parenthesis. Insert them. Open the object. Set state parenthesis. That function parenthesis. Yeah. Inside that, open an object and we will update the state in that object. Curly braces. Okay. Yeah. Here we need to update the visibility. So visibility, colon. Is it? I think we are missing B. There's a. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Colon. Not exclamatory. This dot state dot visibility. Yeah, this and we need to bind this method in constructor. Okay. This add state. No, no, no. We are not doing state. We are binding the method. How we do that? This dot. Our method name, what's our method? Toggle visibility. Equals, equals. 
remove that uh, parenthesis there. Yeah, equals. Is that toggle? No. Yeah, toggle. Toggle visibility dot bind dot bind. Yeah, inside this. This. Yeah. And yeah. I think now it works. It's alive. Just click that button. No, no, wait, wait. Close that and just click that button on the left. Yeah, yeah let's see. Right it. Yeah. So you see me now, you don't. Uh, just go through the code and see if is there anything to on. Yeah. Yes. And then it's it on is. click this toggle visibility. We are calling on click, we are calling toggle visibility, and we have written the toggle visibility method, which is updating the state. So we are updating the visibility property in our state. And we binded that in constructor. Yeah. And so this it. one's visibility true. A yeah. boolean, yeah. Yeah. So whenever it's true, yeah. then did you understand why how why we are using visibility colon not this state dot visibility? In the line fourteen, line number fourteen, mm -hmm. we are using we are setting visibility colon this dot state dot visibility not this dot state dot visibility. So, it means if the visibility is false, we are making it into true. If we, if it is true, it will yeah. turn it into false. We are taking the negation, opposite value of that here. Yeah, the that exclamation point means inverse, yeah. correct? Yeah, In inverse. It, it, it inverse that value. Yeah. So we'll get the toggle. Yeah. Okay. John said he's going to be studying ES six during React time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So let's get let's back to move, move on to the next. Yeah, we can go to the next one. Click right click there. Yeah. Okay. Simple counter. I went to this workshop last week and we created um we created the the counter the 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 previous challenge we created that. Okay. And we also created this this uh project right here. In React? Uh, we did it using uh, web components okay. without accessing React. Okay. We may have used React. I had to check my code. My computer died, but okay, no problem. Just I'll have to go. show you tomorrow. Uh, no problem. We will see it on the next day. Yeah. I think well, I we'll understand that workshop. Uh, code a lot better now. Having uh, gone through these you can recollect those concepts once you are understanding the things here. Yeah. It will feel better like once we get the concept we can make sense oh they did this for the something like that. Yeah. Recollect. <laughs> that was my first exposure to uh, React and web components and Languages that are like that. I think there is a lot of buzz going on web components these days, and industry people are saying that the future is web components only. These all these frameworks will dump in the future, and the whole web will be built on web components in the future. Yeah, they're gonna 
they're they've already started implementing these within HTML and uh, Java and just vanilla JavaScript. Yeah, native plain JavaScript. Yeah, or ES6, but it's uh, kind of just built in instead of being yeah. in the framework. Yes. So people should get comfortable with JavaScript, basically. So it will lot of it will give flexibility to use that native program rather than going for a different framework for different. <laughs> we have yeah. too many. We have variety of frameworks now like Angular, Vue, React, Ember. There are too many frameworks. So once they implement yeah. the web components, everyone can stick to one standard. Yeah, and then there's Gatsby and Spelt. Yeah. And the Gatsby is built on React only. Mm -hmm. it React. But it's like a static site generator. It generates the stat static site using React. Mm -hmm. We can build blogs or portfolios using it, and they are, they are built using React only, but it's like some kind of framework built mm -hmm. using React. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's read this one yeah and see um see yeah, how need to because write some counter application you can design a more complex stateful component by combining the concepts covered so far these include initializing state writing methods with set state and assigning click handlers to, to to trigger these methods. Okay. The counter component keeps track of account value in state. There are two buttons which call methods increment. Huh. <coughs> Excuse me. And decrement. Write these methods so the counter value is incremented or decremented by one when the appropriate button is clicked. Also create a reset method so that so when the reset button is clicked, the count is set to zero. Uh, count a note. Make sure you don't modify the class names of the buttons. Also remember to um, to add the necessary bindings for the newly created methods in the constructor. Okay. All right. So now write three methods for increment, decrement, and reset. All right. That's the constructor. There we will bind that methods. Here we will write our methods. Okay, so increment comes first. Then yeah, it's just open the curly braces for that increment. For every method, keep right. the curly braces. Here? Uh, yeah, curly braces. Yeah. Same to the top, decrement. Here? These are the three methods. In the, inside that method, we should update the state according right. to. Later, later, DK. Yeah. Increment, decrement, and reset. <coughs> <coughs> so just uh, complete that binding part to these three methods so we can focus on our. This. this dot, that. Uh, increment. Increment. Oh, we need to do it for all three. Oh, yeah. Uh, equals. Equals. This dot increment. Dot bind. Bind this. Yeah. And okay. Do that same for other two. I think. End it with semicolon. Uh, yeah, that's right. And it's JavaScript. Okay, so decrement. And 
reset. Uh, come on. Ah, it's not doing what I want. Reset. Reset. Okay, so I'm bound, and now I need to access this dot state dot count, and then plus no, no. Plus. There we need to set state. We need to update the state. Okay. How we do that? Dot set state equals no no we no. remember how we did in the is it like this yeah yeah and then this inside, the, inside that inside that not inside not like that. braces this dot set state parentheses in that okay curly braces are go inside that parentheses. Remove the state count plus plus r. That there. Place curly braces before. This is an object. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah. Now count. I don't colon, need then. that. Yeah. Come to the uh, new land. That this dot state dot count plus plus. We need to set count colon this dot state dot count plus plus. Do you remember we how we modified the state inside set state? We need to increment the count value. So count colon then the value this dot state dot count plus plus. Wait. Okay. Just remove that. Yeah, before that count plus plus this dot state dot count plus plus. Come to the front. That this dot state dot count plus plus. We are updating the count, so use count colon name and value. First name is just remove everything that this dot state dot count plus plus. All of this. Yeah, uh, clear. Okay, wait. This dot remove dot uh, plus plus and equal. Just write set state parentheses curly braces. Uh huh. This uh... remove that equal equal write that set state method this is a method so open the curly braces uh, parents is about first yeah no earlier is a set state parents method is functional parentheses uh, inside there open the curly braces okay wait not like that we are messing it didn't, it didn't remove all the curly braces uh, outside that set state just remove yeah, all the curly braces it's not making it pretty <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, you have that. Uh, remove that 17, line 17 one also. Uh, the, yeah. Close the curly brace in, inside there. Yeah. Ah, come on. Work with me. Uh, work with me. Okay. Yeah, close that. Uh, now get into there and click enter there. Yeah, here, count. We, are, we want to update the count. But it needs to be uh, in count. this? No, no, no. Normal. Count. <laughs> colon. Now write that state plus plus. This dot state dot. This dot state. So don't use that. We already in the object. Count colon. This dot. State, state dot. Dot count. Plus plus. Yeah, so the count will become increment one, incremented by one. One each. Uh, each the same way. Script. Okay. So, so I think this we should remove this line twenty two. In the line twenty two. Oh, it's not needed. Yeah, there's no need for it. Come on. Alright. Increment state. Ah, come on. So is there anything to I don't Don't like this uh, trackpad I'm using. Yeah. Try to write it so you'll get some practice. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right.
<coughs> okay, this, that, set state, and then. <coughs> You're again opening rest is outside. Oh, it's outside. Open that set state brace, braces inside that set state parentheses. You have opened outside just like method. We are setting uh, on line 20. Yeah, okay. Did you notice that? I'm creating it like an object. Yeah, set state is a method. Inside set state, we should write some object. So come into there. Uh, there, we are writing some objects. So open the curly braces for object. I guess that's just enter. weird for me. I'm just not. Yeah. That's now, just different, isn't it? Count. Yeah, now it means. Why we are using count means our state is count. This. And right state. Uh, that count and then negatives. Yeah. And then. Okay. In the reset. This one will. We should reset it into zero. So. Yeah, this, that, set state. And then I'm going to get it right this time. Aha, uh -huh. I got That's it. That's correct. Count. Yeah. Just set it to zero. Yeah, that's it. All right. Now we need to add even handlers to our buttons. I think we, it is already there. Yeah, they did the on click. Yeah. So we can also have to test our code. Oh man, man, this is fun. Now. Look at that. It's gonna work now. Just uh, click the buttons on the right side. Yeah, it's so cool when you know it's gonna work. Oh, it didn't work there. I'm gonna cut. <laughs> Is there anything wrong? Did. did we? What have I done? I probably put an extra curly brace in there somewhere. One too many curly braces. We will test it for one, I think. Just risk. Once scroll up and set yeah, the state. We shouldn't have built them all at once. I should have just built one at a time. You know. Uh, we have banded this dot increment dot bind is not showing any console also increment okay so maybe something is missing for the Increment this dot set. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I, th I think something's wrong with the bind. Should it just be bound to the count. No, no, no. Is it bound bind to the method? Method mm -hmm. is bind is bound to the methods. Okay, the counter component keeps Once, track of the count. Method. Go to that state, uh, scroll up and see that state value. There are two methods. Manually just change the state into something and we'll test that a reset is reset working. Change that zero to some some other number in the state. And just try that a reset. Is it working? Yeah, reset is working. Reset is working. Right. Increment, decrement. increment and decrement is not working means that there's something yeah Let's come see. to our increment in place of plus plus use the plus one remove that extra place and keep one there Elliot in our increment yeah after yeah. the this dot state dot count plus plus this dot state dot count plus one. Or could I just remove the text uh, plus one? Yeah, now just try that increment and let's see is it working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Okay. 
Isn't that what plus plus does? That plus plus is with directly modifying means this dot state dot count plus plus means we are directly modifying. We are not setting through that state. So it'll work now. Yeah. That's fun. Though. I like that. Just remember the way we are writing a set state method and binding and attaching even handlers. Okay. Two buttons. I'm probably going to call it a night. It's one o'clock a.m. And I need to okay. put my batter back to sleep. Okay. So, so I think we, I'll we call should, it a day here. Uh, we should stop here and we'll meet in the office. Yeah, I'll see you in a few hours for JavaScript. Yeah. But good night, Shrikant. Good night. Uh, good uh good day to you. It's yeah, it's uh, eleven eleven twenty AM to me here yeah. and you'll again come back in the new day for that you have to fix. Yeah, I'll catch up with you. Yeah. All right, Shrikant. This is fun. I enjoyed yeah. it and uh I look forward to seeing you later in the day. Have fun and have good night. All right. Good night.